Hi guys! Today there was an event at Toys R Us for the release of Sun and Moon Ultra Prism for Pokemon TCG. They gave a really cool Ultra Prism poster with Solgaleo on the front. I'll show that in just a minute. They also gave a Piplup foil po promo. That's a Toys R Us exclusive. And a Giratina coloring page. Maybe I'll draw Giratina by looking at this coloring page. I've drawn Pokemon before. I don't know if I ever like uploaded those videos though. Maybe I should upload those to YouTube. Here is the Piplup card. It's really cool. Love the holo. Usually they actually give these cards in packets, but they didn't do that this time. All of them were like this. It also says Toys R Us. This may seem like a basic card, but it actually has some value. I also went to GameStop today because they're giving a leg legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. You could get Dialga or Palkia. So if you have Ultra Moon, you get Dialga, or Ultra Sun, you get Palkia. So I do have Ultra Moon, and you could check out my gaming channel. I'm going to get Dialga, that means... So I'm going to show how you get it. Maybe I could do a giveaway of this in the future. I don't know. Maybe if I get to go to GameStop again, then I'll do a giveaway of this if I can get more. So far, I only have one code. I also bought an Ultra Prism Leafeon pack. And this pack feels lucky. So you should check out the video where I open this and hope I pull something good. Well, anyways, I'm going to attempt to show the poster. So let me show this side first. It's really big. I'll probably take a few pictures that make it easier to see. So it's Solgaleo. Okay, so here it is. It's pretty big. But it looks really nice. So they also have this. So here's Empoleon. Prize cards, active Pokemon bench. And then there's Garchomp over there. I'll flip it. And I'm really glad that they made Ultra Prism because Giratina, Leafeon, Empoleon, Garchomp. When I started watching Pokemon... This was the first series, so I remember all of these Pokemon. So I'm really glad they made Ultra Prism with all of these old Pokemon. Here's a side with Garchomp. And I don't play actual Pokemon TCG, but I did download Pokemon TCG online and made a gameplay video. A few gameplay videos, actually. I didn't actually redeem any codes online yet, which is why I don't have any like good cards. The only one I did redeem was like a Ho -Oh GX. But other than that, I didn't like open any other packs except for like the prize packs they gave. So if you do like that, comment down below and I'll make more of those videos. Anyways, that's basically it for this event. In the last event for another Pokemon Sun and Moon series for Guidance Rising, Burning Shadows, all of them, whenever they had an event, they gave a book. That showed the four main like Pokemon on the pack arts. And it showed all the cards that you could get or most of them. And I thought that was pretty cool. But they stopped giving those books. I really like the poster instead. But I prefer those books because they show like all the cards you could get. And they have all the pack arts instead of just one. I like the poster but I don't have anything to hang it up yet. So I'll probably have to get that. And find some space to hang this up. For size reference, if you go to a movie theater and you see a poster, it's about that big. Both sides are more than 12 inches. And you can see this card for size reference. And I'm also doing a giveaway of some codes. Like this one. And a bunch over here, actually. There's one random card in here. I'm giving away all of these codes. So you can check out that giveaway, I'll put a link down below, and thanks for watching. Hi guys, today I have a Pokemon Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion release special video. And this is the Toys R Us exclusive version. Today, so today at Toys R Us they were giving these Jangma O cards, which are exclusives. And if you were in the first 50 people, you would get a To Get Maru figure. And they gave these Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion Collector's Books, which I'll show you. So first, I'll just show you the card that they gave. So it's Jang mo -O. It's a holo from Toys R Us. And 
And then if you were early, you would get these Togetamaru figures. And then they're showing some other figures. And I'm not actually going to open this. And I wonder what these other figures, if you like buy them, or maybe they'll have them in future Toys R Us events or something. They're showing more figures here. Interesting. But the main thing is the book. I'll just move this stuff out of the way and then show it. So here is the book, and this looks really cool. Here's the back. Like, I could literally take this out and put it on the wall. Like, put it in a frame, and it would look really nice. This is Sil Valley right here on the front. And then we have some more Pokemon. Here's a Jangmo card that I have. And you could actually put cards in here. There's also hakamo o Koma o Alolan Executor GX. These cards are pretty cool. Here's another Koma o Buzzwool GX, Regirock, Stuffle, Beware, Guzzlord GX, Niheligo GX, Swablu, Altaria, and this art looks pretty cool too. And I remember this Pokemon from Pokemon Sun. And you can check out Pokemon Sun gameplay videos on Time for Tekken Games. And when Ultra Sun and Moon comes out, I will play that as well. And make gameplay videos. Guzzlord right over here. The art work always looks cool on these i have a book of this for evolution sun and moon and i think the other sun and moon said burning shadows as well and gardens rising and then we have registeel militank type null silverly gx which evolves from type null and these are some more cards that you could get and then here's the back which is pretty cool and you can play Pokemon TCG online. I have some random codes here from one of my past videos. So I'm going to try to do that. And when I do, I'll upload that video. So you should be subscribed so you can get notified if I post it and when I post it. And I also just got a Break Evolution box of Arcanine and some other. I also got like a Skyzer box and stuff. So you can check those videos out on my channel as soon as I post them. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Hi guys, today I went to the Toys R Us event to get the special May the 4th Star Wars Millennium Falcon made out of Lego. So I have all the pieces here. And I also have the book and the poster. So before I show that, I also have a Lego Batman signal, which I also got from Toys R Us. And a Star Wars Wookiee gunship. And this is the Lego Star Wars Master Your Force book. Over here it shows how you build it. And over here it shows which pieces you need. And at the store they had them all and I circled the ones I got. And over here you can translate this. And I already did. So if you don't want to know, you can skip the video for about two seconds. It says Master Your Force. And they also have this, and it shows the people. It shows that there's a Stormtrooper, Kylo Ren, and other characters. And it shows that you could get the homing spider droid, which is only at Toys R Us. And now let me show you the poster. So these are all the pieces. So first you have this. You're going to take this and put two of these on. Next you're going to put this on. And two of these. And then you put four of these circles. And 
And then you take this and this and you put this on, on two of them. Like this. And then just place it like this. So for step number six, you put this on. So for step number seven, I'm actually missing those pieces. So I'm going to still try to make it without those two. So for after this, you put this on top. And I don't have those over here, so it might not work that well. For step number nine, so for step ten, you need to do one, two, three first, and then you could put that on. So there are actually two sides, so make sure you're doing the right one. You take this, and then you put this. And this. Put this on top again. Like this. And then you put it like this on the Millennium Falcon. And then use the same thing for the other side. So then you take the smaller circle and put it in the middle for step 13. Then you flip it over and you take this. And you're supposed to put this on, but I don't have those two pieces, so I can't put it on. So I'll skip this step for now. And then it shows that you need this piece. And then you put this piece on top of it, like this, and then you add this, and this, just like this, and then this is supposed to go here, but I can't put it, after that, you take this, and put this on. And you put it right over here. It isn't staying very well. After that, you take this and this. And you put it in here. And then just put this over here. Like this. So since I was missing a piece and had an extra piece of this, I just put it like this. So this is what you get when it is finished. And I'll show it up close as well. So when I checked it, it turned out that I actually skipped a step. You were actually supposed to put this on before you put this on, but even without it, it looked pretty cool.
Hi guys, today I'm going to build the Lego Star Wars X-Wing Fighter. So it's going to look like this. And I'm going to show you how to build it. So I'm just going to put the instructions over here. Open up the bag. So these are all the pieces. Just move them over here for now. Since we don't need those instructions, I'll put this over here for reference. So first, you need this piece. And you have to put this on top, but I guess it already came like this in mine. I'll try to focus on it. I'll just move this back. So now you need to put this piece on right over here. Like that. And then you take these little things that look like arms and put them on. There are four of them. So then it looks like this. You get this piece and then you need to put it on top and put these, the little orange ones on the side. But for some reason, I'm missing these little orange pieces. I have no idea why. But they just look good for decoration and color. And they're not that important, which is good. So then you just need two of these. And you could just put this on top of it. And then... Make sure it's straight. Put it right over here. And then take this little white piece and put it over here for decoration. So now we need these two pieces. Just put this on the top. And then this piece right over here, carefully. Like this. And then you're done with this part. So then basically what you need to do is you have four of these wings. And then you're supposed to have four of these, but I have no idea why this one is missing so many things. Maybe because I went late, they all were running out of supplies. So I just put this on, each of them. As I said before, you're supposed to have four, so you could put them on all four, but I only have three. So I guess I'm only going to put them on three. And then you just take these little things and put them on. You just have to make sure, I'll try to show this in my camera, but it's not focusing, that this side is to the inside and the others to the outside. Yeah, so you need to make sure this is to the outside and this is to the inside. So what you do is, you just put it on. 
For two of them, you put it on one side, and for two of them, you put it on the other side. And once again, I'm missing another one of those. And I'm missing a lot of pieces because I went late for this one and early for this one. So then you just take this and put these inside. It's just better to do this one first because it's on the bottom and easier to do first. You just put it on like that. It's really easy. Looks like this came off. Just put it back on. Just like that, and you're done. And this one is missing pieces, but since it's on the bottom, it's not that bad. So this is how a real one would look versus one that is missing some pieces. So these little orange things make it look much cooler, and this one doesn't have them. Or something on the bottom. But it is still a... Star Wars X-Wing fighter. So you could see this one up close since this is the one with all the pieces. So the one with missing pieces does not look that good. So I also got this Lego Star Wars book. If you could see it. So I also got this Lego Star Wars book. And you could join the Lego Club. And it's free and you should join it. Because every month you get a free cool Lego magazine. The dark side has a new face. And in some of my videos I make Darth Vader unbox something. So... You should check those out as well, and thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Hi right, guys, I have an extreme haul of Snow White Funko Pop exclusives from Toys R Us. So here are all of them, so I have like about 14. The only thing is that they're limit 2 per customer, and I had to go to more than one Toys R Us and with a lot of people. And in most Toys R Us's, they were already like sold out, or only had a few left. They're supposed to have this the entire week, so maybe they were only putting out like 10 per day or something. So here is the first one, I'll try to show the box. This is pop number 349. And it says only a Toys R Us. Snow White. So here are all the other ones. There's 339, 340, 341, 342, 343, 344, 345, 346, 347. And this is 349. I think number 348 was also an exclusive, but I don't remember which one. Yeah, I'm not sure who that was. So anyways, there's Snow White right over here. Dopey, Bashful, Sneezy, Sleepy, Happy, Grumpy, and Doc. And then there's also the Witch or the Evil Queen. 
collect them all. Here's the side of the box. In the bottom. And this one is a tiny bit damaged, if you could tell from the top. So I'm going to be opening this one instead of any of the other ones. Trying to get it out carefully. So it actually came with this. So it says Disney Treasure Treasures Official Collectible Subscription, which is pretty cool. So you could get this box and it's filled with surprise Funko products for Disney fans and collectors. That's pretty cool. Maybe I'll get this if it doesn't cost too much. And here is our pop. I'll try to carefully get her out. Here we go. So I'll show her up close and everything. So this is the maid version of Snow White. You could see her clothes aren't that good and she has a little bird on her hand. Kind of like at the beginning of the movie. Then you can also turn her head, I think. Yeah. All the way around. Nothing too fancy, but it is a nice pop, especially for collectors. I'm trying to get close to the bird. I think this is as close as I could get without losing focus. And her head is really big compared to her body. But that is common in most Funko Pops. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And tell me if you like more Funko, Funko products. And I'm getting a few mystery minis from Funko as well. Like, I think I'm getting Moana and like Steven Universe and stuff. So be sure to subscribe and be notified. And last year what I did was in December I made like an advent calendar to like New Year's and made a video every day. So I might do that this year. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hi guys, today I have Funko Pop number 568. This is from Masters of the Universe and this is a flocked pop that's only at Toys R Us. And I've never gotten a flock pop before. I was really close to getting the Dr. Seuss, no, the Bugs Bunny one. However, it was out of stock before I could order it. So this is the first one I actually found. And I got it even though I don't know anything about Masters of the Universe. Here's the side of the box. It says Mossman. Masters of the Universe, 539 to 567. Well, this one is 539 and then 62 to 67. We have Beast Man, Battle Armor He Man, Battle Armor Skeletor, Merman, Evil Lin, Orko, and Stratos. I might be saying some of these wrong. Let's open this up. I always try to open boxes without damaging them because I usually keep the boxes. There we go. Let's pull it out. It looks pretty cool. The texture feels nice. It basically just feels like a certain type of fabric. And since this is moss, man, it makes sense. It kind of feels, it probably does feel like moss. That's pretty interesting. The only thing is that it's kind of weird how this is just like hard. 
and a different texture than all of this. But other than that, I think it's pretty cool that they did make a flock version of this particular pop. In some pops, it doesn't always make sense to have a flock version. But in this case, it does make sense. And it's a pretty cool pop. We'll show it up close. Here it is. And it's pretty crazy that this is pop number 568. I've gotten like pop number 20 or something. And I don't even see any like visible defects on them. Because usually in Funko Pops, there are like a few defects. They're usually not that bad, but they are noticeable. And I don't see anything noticeable on this, which is a good sign. But anyway, that's basically it for this Funko Pop. And I also got the Emerald City Comic Con exclusive from Toys R Us, which was She-Hulk as a lawyer. So you could also check that out on my channel. And I usually get Funko Pop exclusives, like I've gotten GameStop exclusives and Toys R Us exclusives in the past, and I probably will get more in the future. So you could subscribe and get notified. Usually when a pop comes out, I try to get it on the release date and upload the video the same day. So usually if I am getting a pop, I'll be one of the first people to get it. And anyways, thanks for watching. Hi guys, today I have a Toys R Us exclusive Funko Pop. This is Dragon Ball Z edition. It's pop number 315. And this is Hit. So you can also get numbers 313 to 19. Future Trunks, Goku Black, Hit, Zamasu, Whis, Super Saiyan, Future Trunks, and Gotenks. I might be saying some of these names wrong. I do not watch the show. But I do collect exclusive Funko Pops, and this one did look cool. And this is a Toys R Us exclusive. Let's check it out carefully without damaging the box. Like all of these here, I've already opened all of them. And a lot of them look new because I take good care of my things. And tell me if you like this display in the back for my Funko videos, or if you prefer a white background. And then I'll do that in some of my next videos. Let's cut this out, move this to the side. Pretty cool Funko figure. You can move his head all the way around. Interesting. If you look at it from certain angles with the light, you could see some extra lines. I wonder if those were intentional or not. I like the gold. Usually, like, when there's a metallic color on a pop, that looks pretty cool. And all of the video all of the pops you see in the back I have opened on my channel so you could check out all of those videos. They will be uploaded before this and I'll put a link to them down below. Or it's probably easier if you just go on my Funko playlist because that has all my Funko videos including Funko Pops, Mystery Minis and Pine Size Heroes. Anyways, here's a figure up close. Could see all the details and if you do comment down below comment down below about the background and tell me out of all the figures in the back which one do you like the most it's probably best if you see the videos of them as well because sometimes in the box they don't look that cool but they're actually a lot cooler out of the box like one of my favorite all of these are pretty cool I would say I think the interplanetary Batman is really unique because of that extra thing it has that no Funko Pop has or no none of the other Funko Pops that I know. 
And these two are 8 bits, which are also pretty cool. And some of these are summer convention exclusives and stuff. These are all exclusives, by the way. But anyways, that's basically it for this video. And thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Hi guys, today I have a Disney Kingdom Hearts Mystery Mini, and this is a Toys R Us exclusive version. So let me just get this wrapping off. So there is a 1 in 12 chance of each figure, so these exclusives are worth basically the same, but they look really cool. And I'm not sure if they're glow in the dark or not, it doesn't say, but they do look really cool. So we have... All of these characters, and I only know like the Disney characters. Like, I know Mickey, and then another version of Mickey, and then we have Chip and Dale. And I think it's like Tron or something. Or it's like a Tron exclusive version or something. And this is Donald Duck and Goofy in their Tron suits or something. But yeah, I don't know the other figures, but I do know like the Disney characters. And let's get this Funko Mystery Mini opened up. And I would really like one of the exclusive ones because they look really cool. So we did not get one of the exclusive ones, but this figure is really cool as well. I don't really know this character, so I can't say much about it. Like, especially this sword looks really cool. I'll show the character up close. So I just searched it up and this character is Riku and you would say he has a keyblade or a sword and I think that sword looks really cool and you could see the little Kingdom Hearts keychain coming off of it and this is a pretty cool figure even though we did not get the cool Tron exclusives from Toys R Us but anyways thanks for watching and maybe I'll get more of these so th be sure to subscribe to see more Funko videos on my channel I've opened like probably hundreds by now of Mystery Minis, Pint Size Heroes, and Funko Pops including exclusive ones. Sadly, Toys R Us is closing, so I'm not going to be getting any more Toys R Us exclusive pops in the future, unless they're like some of the older ones that I didn't open. But that's basically it, and thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Hi guys, today I have an entire case of Warner Bros. Saturday Morning Show's Mystery Minis from Funko, and these are the Toys R Us exclusive versions. We have Looney Tunes, Yogi Bear, Tom and Jerry, The Flintstones, Tom and Jerry, Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes. And these are the figures you could get. The bottom three are exclusives that are only at Toys R Us. These three right here. So we have The Flintstones. I think this is Flint. Yeah, I don't remember all of their names. And then here is Yogi Bear, 1 out of 6. This one is 1 out of 12. 1 out of 12. Bugs Bunny, 1 out of 6. Tom from Tom and Jenny. Tom from Tom and Jerry is 1 out of 24. Jerry is 1 out of 24. 1 out of 72, so basically a chaser. 1 out of 6. 1 out of 6, Daffy Duck. 1 out of 36. 1 out of 72, and 1 out of 36. So these three are the exclusives only at Toys R Us. So we have a full case, so I'm hoping we get at least one exclusive. And all of these figures do like look pretty cool. So the whole case is full. So I'll start opening them up. So let's start with this one. Let's take it out. So looks like we have Tom from Tom and Jerry. This is a 1 out of 24. The figure does look pretty cool. And at the end, I want to show all of the figures up close instead of one by one, which is faster. So I'll just set him on the side for now. So I'll just move him, like, I guess back over here for now. 
Here is our second one. Maybe I should just cut this one. For some reason, this one is hard to open. There we go. So this figure does feel small. So it looks like we have the Toys R Us exclusive figure already. So this is only our second box and this is the Toys R Us exclusive that is 1 out of 36. Which is really good. Like this is one of the ones I wanted the most. Maybe I should just leave the rest of the box. So it is pretty cool that we just pulled Elroy Jetson, but I guess since we did pull the Chaser, we can open some more boxes. So maybe we could get another one of the exclusive ones. Like this is dog is also from the Jetsons. And maybe we could get Jerry to get both Tom and Jerry. So let's see. So one of the common ones, this one is 1 out of 12. I'm not really sure who this is. He's not on the box. It does. He's not in one of these either. So comment down below and let me know if you know who this is. So will he stand? So this is a little bit bent, I guess, because he's not standing. Okay, so I'm just going to set him right over here. So I just looked him up and he is Huckleberry Hound, but I do not know which show he is from. So if you have seen him in a show, let me know. I probably have seen the show, but I just don't remember. Like I have seen the Flintstones, but I don't remember the guy's name. Anyways, we should move on to our next box. This is box number four and we did get really good pulls so far, especially since we pulled the Jetson Kid. And I would also want the other exclusives. And we need Jerry because we have Tom, but we don't have Jerry, so, you know, let me carefully use this to cut this open. So it looks like we got Fred Flintstone. Yeah, that was his name, Fred. So we have Fred Flintstone right over here. This is 1 out of 12. Maybe I'll just start setting the characters here now. And I'll also move these boxes because I'm running out of space. So let's continue the video. It's weird how on some boxes the shrink wrap completely covers it, and in some it's not even... Some boxes don't even have shrink wrap. I don't know if that's how Funko made them or if that's just how the store had them. This feels really light. So I remember watching this cartoon, but I don't remember the name of it again. It's been a while since I watched some of these shows, or all of them. This one was fairly easy to open. So we have our first duplicate of the video. And this was our sixth box, so a duplicate was likely. 
However, there are still a lot more figures in the set that we need. So I think I'm going to rearrange the setting now since we only have six boxes left. So I just rearranged the setting and this looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to have to set these guys down because they're going to fall when I take this off. So let's see, we still need Yogi Bear, we still need Bugs Bunny, we need Jerry, we need this guy from Looney Tunes, we need Daffy Duck, we need the dog from Jetsons, I think it's Astro, and also this guy from Looney Tunes. So we have almost half the set, but not yet. So we probably will not get a full set now since we did get a duplicate, and usually you don't get all exclusives. And I didn't have a sealed case. The store, Toys R Us had a bunch of these. And this is the only case I found that had, that was all full. And it looked like no one like touched it. But I'm not sure. Like someone could have switched some of them up. So it might not represent what you would get in a full case. So we have Daffy Duck. Pretty cool. Move this to the side. Down to our final five boxes. Let's see if we could pull another exclusive. So we finally get Bugs Bunny. And I actually really like this figure. Even though it is one out of six and one of the most common, I still like it. So we have another Bugs Bunny. So I don't want any more duplicates even though I like this figure. So let's set these guys down too now. We'll move these boxes to the side and they just fell. And this is a duplicate so I could just set him right over here or not. Anyways, let's continue. Finally, we get a Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear is one out of six. And we still didn't get a Yogi Bear until now. I really like the Yogi Bear movie that they made. I don't remember what year. It was a few years ago, but that was a really good movie. It was like a real life version. I was actually thinking about rewatching it recently. We're down to two boxes, and they also fell. So, will we get another exclusive or another duplicate? We'll see. So we got basically the top row, except we did not get Jerry. So I would like to get Jerry if I don't get an exclusive. Let's see. So another Yogi Bear. So now we're down to one box. So we are down to our last box. What will we get? I'm really hoping it's not another duplicate. I'd really like to get Astro from the Jetsons or Jerry or this exclusive. We got everyone else. Ex also, we didn't get this Chaser, which is 1 out of 72. But let's see. So it's another duplicate, it's another Daffy Duck. So that's alright, we still got pretty cool figures and we did get one exclusive. 
right over here. Okay, so I just rearranged this and it took a while because Henry or the blue dog in the corner, left corner, keeps on falling. So I ended up leaning him on Bugs Bunny. And I actually was setting him up at the end and then they all fell like dominoes. But I didn't catch that on camera. So I had to reset it now. And it looks like we got one Henry. Let me just get the box right over here, which is 1 out of 12. We got Bugs Bunny, which is 1 out of 6. Two, two Bugs Bunnies. Two Daffy Ducks, which are 1 out of 6. Two Yogi Bears that are 1 out of 6. Two of these guys, whose names I do not know, which are 1 out of 6, right over here. One Fred Flintstone, that's 1 out of 12. One exclusive 1 out of 36 Jetson Kid, which is a Toys R Us exclusive. And Tom from Tom and Jerry, which is 1 out of 24. We did not get Jerry, which is 1 out of 24. We did not get the Chaser over here or these two exclusives. So we did not get a full set, even though we opened 12 boxes. And anyways, I'll show all the figures up close now. I'm going to show all the figures up close now. This rotating stand shows the figure really slowly, which I like. It used to have blue LED lights, but for some reason they don't work anymore. I actually don't mind that they don't work because now you can see the original color on the product instead of like blue lights. And this figure does not stand for some reason, so I'll just, I, I'm just gonna have to show it like this, which is kind of sad. So here's a closer look at this figure.
And I hate that this figure does not stand. I don't know if it's all of these or mine's is just defected. Yeah, so it does not stand. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below if you did. Hi guys! Today I have a sticky starfish. It says wall walking fun for ages 5 and up. I actually got this at Toys R Us for a dollar. In my Toys R Us they have a section that says like dollar items and stuff and they had this. And you basically stick it on the wall and it says toss the starfish against any smooth surface and watch it tumble and flip all the way down. And you can wash it with soap so it could regain its stickiness and it will not stick to carpet, clothing, or hair. And there's some precautions. Do not use it on latex paint or wallpaper. I don't remember what paint I have on my wall. So I'll have to check that out before I stick it on my wall. So let's get this out. There's just the plastic here. I should probably keep this so when I store it, it doesn't lose its stickiness. And anyway, here is how it looks. It's really sticky right now. Like, if you eat, like, a gummy, it's even stickier than that. And I'll stick it on the wall now. So here's a random wall, and I'm going to stick it. It looks kind of cool. It's on the roof now. Let's see if it falls on the ceiling. I could see it about to fall. Well, it's not falling at the moment. I guess it'll just stay there for the rest of my life. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment below, and, and I'll add footage if I see it fall. Or I'll just tell you in the comments or description if it fell or not.